pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can you oh, see? <laughs> One, two. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars. Through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Let's hear one more time for Finn and Emily. Great job with the National Anthem. Good evening. I'd like to take this time to welcome you to the commencement ceremony for Center Reach High School's class of 2023. I'm Thomas Bell, the proud principal of these outstanding young men and women. It's my pleasure to introduce the dignitaries that are here with us today to join in our celebration. Please welcome Mr. Kevin Laval, Brookhaven Town Clerk, From our Board of Education Vice President, Mr. Robert Feeney. <laughs> Board Trustees, Ms. Deborah Mann Rodriguez, Mr. Robert Halleck, Ms. Denise Haggerty, and Mr. John DiBenedetto. <laughs> From District Office, Ms. Francine McMahon, Deputy Superintendent for Instruction, and Dr. Beth Rella, Assistant Superintendent for Business. From District Administration, Dr. Jennifer Harrison, Director of Pupil Personnel Services, Mr. Joseph Mercado, Director of Health, Phys Ed and Athletics, and Ms. Katie Haggerty, Coordinator for Special Education. Our team from across the way, from Dawnwood Middle School, Mr. Dan Conchinas, the Principal, and Assistant Principal, Ms. Jessica Ragazzi are here today. From the Middle Country Teachers Association, please welcome Mr. Dia Resnikoff, President, and Ms. Rebecca Collar, Second Vice President. Our Center of High School Administrative Team is here as well. Mr. Stephen Mercarella, Ms. Sarah Choi, and Ms. Danielle Rapasarda, our Assistant Principals. Please welcome them. I'd also like to take a quick minute to introduce and thank our Senior Class Advisors, both of whom worked tirelessly for four years to make sure these seniors had many memorable experiences. Ms. Stacey Excella and Ms. Jen DePauli, thank you, and thank you for being here. Well, we did it. I, I don't believe anyone, despite all the weather reports, really thought that this class was not going to graduate tonight. I even brought my sunglasses because I've had them for every graduation so far, so I'm ready just in case the sun breaks out tonight. Please be aware, I'm well aware, that the people here in the audience and all the staff in Middle Country 
play an important role in supporting these seniors' efforts. For that, please give yourselves a round of applause. Now, typically, as I and many other principals do for graduation, we sit down and write a speech that is supposed to impart some words of wisdom upon you, the graduates, as you end this phase of your life and embark on a new journey. For the past 15 years, I've challenged myself and I've done so. This year, I try to come up with some sage advice to pass along to you, but I quickly figured out that I can't do it. I even considered using chat GPT, but thought better of it. You all know what that is, don't pretend. You see, I recognized something a few months back. Since you as a class, since that time, you've done nothing but confirm my initial thoughts. You are simply the best graduating class ever from Center Reach High School. Please give yourselves a round of applause. You did that. Those are strong words, and I do offer my apologies to our alumni that are here today, especially those that graduated in 2014, because you were excellent. But the class of 2023 has now taken that crown. You are now the GOAT. You know you're great when people refer to you by only your first name, and everyone knows what I'm talking about like LeBron or Beyonce. Many in this class are known to students and staff simply by your first names. Lauren, Derek, Kate, Amber, Emily, Julia, Mia, Ali, Umi, Celine, Will, Finn, Sophia, Sadia, Benny, Shay, Mom, Alexis, Riddick, and Wazdi. I could go on, but I think you get the point. So rather than give you my words of wisdom or quotes from past presidents or world leaders or philosophers, I decided to share the insights that you, the class of 2023, have given me. Some of you have shared your keys to success with me through conversation, while others I've just watched, listened, and learned from you. Here's some of the things you have either taught me or reminded me are important. Stay focused on your goals, write them down, adjust when necessary, and then write them down again. I like this one. Control the controllables. Focus on improving yourself and you'll be happy with the results. Success breeds jealousy. It's unavoidable. Don't let it bother you and continue on your path. Never shy away from challenges. Trust that the hard work that you put in will pay off. Team success can be satisfying, if not more, than individual success. Be positive and grateful. Enjoy the journey without seeking a prize. And lastly, what was really clear is to be you. So thank you for those words of wisdom you shared with me today. From the start of the year, through the night of the prom, I've accepted compliments on your behalf. You'll forever be known as the class that did everything with class. From day one through the last day of class, when I was given a fake tattoo in the cafeteria that said make it happen, so I kind of followed that advice as well, to dancing with you at the prom, that has never happened before, just so you know. Go forward with the confidence that you are ready for success and follow your own advice because you need to know you are the best. The class of 2023, thank you. I would now like to invite to the podium the senior class president, Ms. Haley Merritt.
start this speech, I would like to congratulate my classmates for making it here today. And I would like to thank all family and friends from the class of 2023 for helping and support us achieve the honor of being here today, especially my parents. Starting this morning, starting every morning at 7.05, but more like 7.20 for myself and my sister due to oversleeping, was definitely a rough way to start the day. It was made a little bit easier by laughing with your friends during the first couple of periods, and by 9.30 in the morning, you were ready to eat your tater tots. Trying to stay awake during fifth or sixth period was a losing battle almost daily, but leaving was like a breath of fresh air. Although we dreaded coming back here every day, dreaming of when our next break would be, we will always look back on these years fondly, wishing we ran them again. Senior year flew by us, and it is almost hard to believe that we are done with our home of the last four years. We could not have made it here without our advisors, Ms. Casella and Ms. Tapali. They put their heart and soul into, each, into our class and didn't think twice about it. They were like second mothers to us and loved us in ways that, that is so special, especially to us officers. They guided us in everything from planning a prom to decorating hallways during Christmas time to teaching us earth science or chemistry. They will always be our biggest cheerleaders, most commonly at class competition during the boys' tug of war. Speaking of people we could not have done this without, I would like to thank my fellow officers, Derek, Victoria, and Crystal. After an extremely rough year of trying to get things back to normal, we did it. The endless texts and our group chat from the million questions we got from our friends are finally over. I would never trade this experience for anything in the world, and I will forever be grateful for everything I learned from working with these astounding people. Congratulations to the class of 2023, and good luck on all your future endeavors. Thank you, Haley. Please welcome our GEO president, Mr. Wazdi Khan. <sighs> I've been humbled now. Now I see why presidents hire professional speechwriters to do these kind of things for them. First things first, good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to congratulate us students for making it through these fast four year, maybe emotional, roller coaster of a ride. I'd also like to thank Mr. Bell, faculty, staff, administrators, family, and friends for helping us prepare for graduation and being flexible with attending this event with all the weather and, you know, all the shenanigans going around here. I'm also thanking my orchestra teacher, Mrs. Wesnowski, well, Mrs. Wesnowski, because she taught me the importance of music in our lives and just how nice of a getaway it can be from all the stress in our lives as well. And of course, how can I not thank Miss Melfi and Miss Hiles, as well as my friends, Lauren and Isabella, for making this year successful? All right, now let's get into this. <laughs> Coming into this high school for the very first time back in September 2019 as a freshman, standing at a whopping 4 foot 10 was intimidating yet exciting. I was in a new environment and my brother had set me up with upperclassmen friends who introduced me to various clubs the school offers and I ended up coming pretty involved within that first year. Listen, I was kind of bored, give me a break, all right? Seeing the geo offices of my freshman year organize notorious events like homecoming, trick or treat street, deck the halls, and most especially class comp was uplifting since it seemed like there was always something to be done. And then of course, the time which I'll be referred to as the dark ages came in and ended that year on a rough, rough note. Sophomore year followed and it was definitely a year to remember for that year's geo officers. Many of our trademark events were canceled Yet they didn't give up. They modified events to keep some school spirit going, like Deck the Doorways and Color Wars. We got red, new field colors, but I still love them. Middle Country Tennis! <laughs> However, not all hope was lost as promises of a return were nigh. Just like comebacks from your favorite series. I'm talking about you, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom! No, no matter how long it took, we were patient, and look at us now. We have Zelda and actual events. But we're not quite here just yet. As juniors, we finally got to see the return of many of our previous events. Although numbers were a bit low, the embers of sophomore year were being kindled with every passing event. We even got to see the lift of the mask mandate in our school, letting us experience normal for the first time in a while, even though it's only two years. 
And we even had the high school musical production with no magic games attached. I'm so ready to become a father, I'm telling you. Man, oh man. <laughs> and of course, we had color wars. <laughs> to a close, or it came to a close, along with my engrossing presidential campaign. No one else ran, I was kind of uncontested, but that's okay. <laughs> and wow. Do they say when seeing something is completely different than doing it? They're so right, my god. Each month had something going on. Yup. What a joy ride of absolutely nothing but after school hours being put to use. I practically lived here this entire year. No denying that. However, I wasn't alone. Like I said, I had with me two excellent advisors and two excellent officers. We did every event thrown at us successfully and made the pros proper post-COVID comeback with homecoming reeling in 379 elementary school students with their families. So um, if we assume at least a one other person, you're looking at at least 758 people. So definitely more than that. Come to the carnival and participate in the various games and buy food from the food trucks we collaborate with. And talking about trick or teach cheat, oh well. I honestly lost count of the number of kids who came. I was like, oh, one, two, three. oh, there's a, oh, there's a huge line. That's a lot of kids. <laughs> We donated to eight families during the food drive, giving gifts to 10 kids during an adopted child, and finally the senior tea, we hosted 83 senior citizens. Of course, we had other in-school events like painting a parking spot, around 33 painted their lot, the volleyball tournament, deck the halls, PS I Love You Day, by the way, which saw significantly more student participation compared to last year, and for a group of people who had to bring back high school spirit during a pretty critical year, I say we did great! Yes! And now at a hefty, menacing five foot two, I can confidently say not only I grew, but the school as well. And now it's up to the next gen of geo officers to pick up where we left off. And man, they are so promising. Thank you for the time. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the ceremony. And one last gradually, congratulations to all of us. OG Geo President Wazikon signing out! Without question, the bravest thing I've ever done is give the microphone to Wazdi at graduation. <laughs> Thank goodness karaoke didn't start. I'm just glad about that. <laughs> it is now my honor to present to you a student that has demonstrated class, maturity, and character during his time here at Sun Reach High School. Bound for NYU next year, please welcome Derek Zhang, the salutatorian of class of 2023. I'm just really uncomfortable right now. Especially with Mr. Bell. Uh, thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, good evening, everyone. On behalf of the class of 2023, I want to welcome all faculty, alumni, friends, family, and distinguished guests. It's an honor to be a part of this very special occasion today. I want to start by giving a big thank you to select teachers, administrators, and close friends who have helped me get to where I am today. And to my two sisters, Karen, who I haven't seen in two years, I decided to fly from Los Angeles today. And Rachel, aka the middle child. You guys have supported me for as long as I can remember, and I want to change you guys for the world. And then again for life. We actually don't call ourselves that, don't worry. Last but definitely not least, to my amazing parents. Uh, words can't describe how much I appreciate you guys. To leave everything behind in China, move to a new country with a fraction of English, and flourish as restaurant business owners, all while raising three kids, is no easy accomplishment. Mama, Baba, or Anita, or in English as they say, I love you guys. They have played a lot of role in my life, and I believe that they should get more recognition in their journey. So I ask that you all give a round of applause for Susan and Sean Bear. I'm not tired for crying somewhere.
is 2023 graduates, like street poet and ancient philosopher Soldier Boy once said, we made it. I want to give a big congratulations to everyone graduating today. Man, it's crazy that the four years of high school that we all loved and hated at times are now over. It wasn't that long ago when we first, when we first experienced the first day of classes, the first homecoming football game, the first girl, the second girl, the third girl, and then the part where you realize that you were the problem the whole time. It seemed like yesterday that we were young, eager, and confused under fashion, waiting to experience high school parties and get our drivers like this. We talked to weirdos that we now call best friends. We downloaded TikTok when we didn't want to, and we danced to a song called Lop by Cardi B. Now we have a song called Lunch by Ice Spice and her dance. So it's funny how things work. Our class battled and perse persevered through many obstacles and conflicts throughout our years showing our determination to prosper. We survived COVID, SATs, APs, college applications, the Canadian wildfires, and ended our eight-year playoff draft. Shout out to Cedric Basketball. Thank you, Evan, for being my number one supporter. Um, and then this year, we all fought the infamous and contagious virus, senior eyes. We became sluggish and lazy. Wishing for days to pass faster. But shout out to the chat GPT, Quizlet, Photomath, SparkNotes, Socratic. Yeah, those are going. Uh, we as a class have been, through, have been through so much together. And this made us realize that not only is this class one of the most intelligent and resilient classes in Senator High School history, but also the most attractive. <laughs> Finally. We're all going to be on our own. We're moving out, and parents are very sad, or happy in some cases. But in all seriousness, when I look into this crowd, I see unique and talented people who all have the capability to be successful and are eager to leave their mark on this world. Each and every one of you is destined for greatness, and all of you have the potential to change the world. But I want to ask you guys this. Are you really who you want to be? I'm going to leave you guys with the message I learned through the course of high school. I wrote the following quote in Oliver Sage's yearbook. Do not climb mountains for the world to see, but for you to see the world. My fellow graduates, I stress that you do not indulge in activities that satisfy others and not yourself. It doesn't matter what all of us decide to do in the future, but just do what makes you happy. Don't be limited by the fear of what other people think. Set your own path, your own adventure, your own goals, your own passions, your own desires, and ultimately, your own legacy. Life is very, very short. Go after what you love and stop living. Hello, Uzi Vert. Now I do what I want. And before I step off stage, I'm going to take a quick snap from my snap story. So please strike a pose. <laughs> Class of 2023, it has been an amazing and unforgettable experience. With all of you, I wish you guys nothing but the very, very best for the rest of your lives. Thank you. D Zang out. Well done, Derek. It pleases me greatly to recognize a truly remarkable student and incredible young lady as a valedictorian of the class of 2023. Off to Fairfield University next year, please welcome Ms. Lauren Hoppe. came close if I didn't lose my voice, so bear with me. Good evening, and congratulations to the class of 2023. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone who is here tonight to celebrate us and have been throughout our lives. Moms, dads, grandparents, guardians, friends, and to all those we have loved and lost along the way. You're appreciated and remembered. 
Encapsulating all of my thanks into a supposed to be three minute speech is incredibly difficult. I am certain I could write an entire novel thanking each individual involved in my life experience for the past 18 years. I would, however, like to thank my friends for keeping me sane and integrating excitement into my life. Each of you will forever leave an imprint on my heart. I cherish our memories and the laughter that touched my soul. Thank you to my family for always supporting my endeavors and interests. Mom and Dad, thank you for the constant sacrifices you make. You both inspire me to do what I do. I wouldn't be anywhere close to the person I am without you both. And don't worry, Mom. I'll still call you when I'm in college and wake you up at 3 a.m. to proofread my papers. To my teachers, administrators, and mentors, and coaches, thank you for your overwhelming support and guidance. Mr. Bell, thanks for allowing new opportunities our senior year. Mr. Saragusa, thank you for teaching me that I'm a lefty clapper. Ma and Narvi, thank you for taking a chance on me, for allowing me to grow under your guidance and enjoy the support I loved through my high school years. Chia, seeing you first period every other day bright my morning, but I will forever remember our juggling lessons. There are two individuals that provided me with a sense of sanity and reality. Seven, Ms. Bush. Thank you for providing the decoration to my silence. Rehearsing every single day for the past four years has been an instrumental part of my development as an individual. Seb, thank you for always keeping me balanced and helping me realize the things that truly us. And I will always remember the application of music to make life more lively. Ms. Hurst, thank you for always checking up on us and doing everything in your power to help us thrive. To the inflection point of my educational experience, the Admiral Individual. to navigate life. She taught us how to be good people, how to respect others, how to persevere, and how to believe.
Mercado. Gianluca Cassiamani. River Millwater. Xavier Calixti. Christopher Molina Meza. Janelli Canales. Jason Molina Meza. Sabrina Kanje. Cece Molina Reyes. Olivia Canzona. Matthew Monti. Michael Caputo. Joseph Montebello Sr. Jr. Frankie Caracciola. Rebecca Mora. Ashley Carballo. Edwin Morales. Nicole Cardiello. Carlos Moreno. Alexa Cassidy. Sophie Mosby. Ashlyn Cassidy. Natasha Narain. Charles Cavalieri. Thomas Nemeth. Haley Centeno Pinto. Gregory Nichols. Diego Savalos. Nemesis Nina Ayala. Andres Savalos. Matthew Nobbs. Ella Chapman. Devin Norris. Abdullah Chaudhry. Frank Novak. Anas Chohan. Shane Nuzi. Arindam Chowdhury. Paige Oakley. Alana Sintron. Jenna O'Donnell. Anthony Siula. Levier Umari O'Donnell. Jada Kokosa. Ilya Olenek. Margaret Kaliri Caldwell. Jonathan Olson. Caleb Cologne. Henry U. Victoria Corallo. Thomas U. Angelina Carrera. Allison Orego Valentine. Maxwell Coven. Julian Otero. Eric Crescenzo. Trisha Powell. Lawrence Crosby. Vincent Palma III. Diego Cruz Ramirez. Aiden Pearson. Austin Cullen. Andrew Panino. Rocco Cuomo. Isabella Perez. Jamie Cuso. Kaylee Perry. Victoria Dana. Kayla Peters. Haley Davis. Matthew Philippe. Jack Dawson. Christopher Phillips. Gianna DeFranza. Nicholas Piazza. Dana DelVal. Denise Pichardo Payero. Gianna DelVecchio. Sergio Pineda. Timothy Dimitris. Melanie Polanco. Ilul Demirose. Jonathan Polachak. Gabi Chanove Destra. Ashley Pongratz. Gianna DiCanio. Logan Poppy. Cody Dickinson. Tasmuel Preo. Charles D. Domenico. Alexis Primerano. Matthew D. Domenico. Joseph Pomel. Charles D. Giovanni. Aurora Quick. Thomas Dumondo. Gianni Quillam. Aiden Donovan. Abdullah Qureshi. Samantha Dovey. Husna Rafiq. Alexandra Doyle. Nahian Raisha. Riddick Drab. Bryce Rusinello. Alicia Dudani. Abdur Rayman. Valerie Echeveria Lopez. James Riley. Autumn Elfline. Luke Raitano. Isabella Elshafai. Joseph Ramini. Anjaneel Ennis. Joshua Renderos. Libni Escobar. Lucas Renna. Sarah Esposito. Santiago Restrepo. Umrana Faruz. Isabella Rexach Moore. Isabella Falco. Robert Rivera. Colin Farrell. Chesney Rodriguez. Andrew Faruja. 
Michael Rojinski. Fatima. Beverly Rooney. Zain Fazal. Anthony Rosario. Andrew Ferreira. Anthony Roy Jr. Lucas Ferreira. Brianna Rubino. Gabriella Fiore. Joseph Rugama Ortez. Sophia Fitzgerald. Ryan Russo. Juanito Flores. Christopher Sage. Diego Flores. Oliver Saget. Gabriela Ferrero. Miri Miriam Salvatore. Tyler Francis. Caitlin San Pietro. Anicia Fraser. Leilani Santana. Christian Fuentes. Nicholas Santora. Michael Gagliardi. Caden Sauls. Justin Gamble. Grant Shearhorst. Ashlyn Ganji. Grace Scolo. Leah Garifola. Taylor Scopo. Andreas Garces Rincon. Jade Sen. Steven Garcia Ortiz. Gracie Serrano. Gianni Garifola. James Svorza. Jason Gerstein. Angel Svirakis. Amal Gafar. Ezarina Sierra. Jason Giametta. Emma Sigalt. Omama Galani. Anthony Singh. Juliana Junta. Stephanie Sislava. Natalie Godinez. Joshua Slade. Jake Goldberg. Patrick Sokolowski. Ryan Goodwin. Kayla Solis. Skyla Gote. Nicholas Sorrentino. Evan Grant. Celine Spezia. Luke Gullo. Joseph Speziali. Roxana Gutierrez. Juliana Speziali. Kellen Gutierrez Hernandez. Haley Spinner. Darren Guvacoglu. Brittany Stopanio. Colin Hagen. Julian Strano. Samantha Harrell. Tyler Sullivan. Tyler Harry Sharon. Soleil Toluchter. Ashley Harrop. Felipe Tapia Gonzalez. Brooke Harrop. Dylan Teodoro. Samuel Henriquez. Gianna Tepedino. Christopher Herbst. Aiden Terraferma. Trey Hodge. Julia Tesoro. Cameron Hodges. Kintea Thompson. Sterling Hoffman. William Thu. Layla Horn. Victoria Timo. Sadia Huda. Tyler Torregrosa. Paul Hutnick. Xander Torres. Caitlin Ippolito. Alexander Torres Lozano. Jasmine Itara. William Torres Rubio. Julia Ivashko. Elijah Toussaint. Kira James. Emma Saknakis. Christy Jinti. Azuna Uwama. Jordan Jenkins. Nwabufo Uwechia. Theodore Jim. Joseph Valadaris. Jennifer Jimenez. China Van Dunk. Madeline Jimenez. James Vaughn. Jason Jin. Caroline Velarde. Ricardo John Baptiste. Josmar Villatoro Alfaro. Migdalia Johnson. Kamani Vincent. Abigail Jones. Kendall Vitiello. Brianna Joseph. Ashley Vizza. Mia Juvelier. Jake Vertenisic. Kanzoda Kabalova. Anastasia Vujovic.
Leah Kaplan. Ryan Walsh. Christian Karwowski. Thomas Welcome Jr. Stephen Katzis. Joel Williams. Alexander Katz. Devin Binock. Dylan Keener. Ava Jones. Luciano Kemeny. Dylan Lancona. Michael Carrigan II. Cody Millwater. Maham Khalid. Jason Michelini. William Kieran. Maximilian Alvarado. Sydney Kirshner. Talia Windley. Liam Kowalewski. Ian Yanarkaya. Devin Croft. Jeffrey Ewell. And Zeta Clark. Victor Zeta. Keithan Zabrowski. Christina Zhang. Johnny Zhang. Vincent Zimmerman. Jacob Zorzik. Matthew Zwerblis. It's a celebration, gotta let it lose. Give one round of applause for all of our graduates. Thank you so much to Mr. Frank Fiorino, Mr. Jimmy Martinelli, and Mr. Joseph Pakula for their outstanding job throughout the year, but also in maintaining maintain and upgrading our fields. But specifically, a great thank you and a shout out for the incredible efforts within the last 72 years for this ceremony. Our security team that joins us today and does an outstanding job supervising our events throughout the year, thank you. Our secretarial staff that's here today assisting as they do all year long, thank you for being out here tonight. To all of our faculty that took the time to join us today, thank you. Our graduation directors, Ms. Granville and Ms. Byers for their attention to all the details to make this evening so amazing, thank you so much. And once again, our senior class advisors in the Center Reach High School administrative team who have guided and supported these students over the last four years, thank you for all your help. Class officers, we're there now. I'm going to invite you up so you can do our last task as the class of 2023. I just want to call up our advisors, Ms. Casella and Ms. Zapali. We have a gift for you guys. Now I'd like to introduce my secretary and treasurer, Victoria and Crystal.
class of 2023 senior gift is a new The class of 2023 senior gift is a new custom center each banner for the auditorium and new custom podiums to proudly display our center each high school logo. Now we will perform our last act as a class at center each high school. Join us in turning the tassel from right to left, signifying the transition from student to graduate. Congratulations, class of 2023.